Hello, this is Miss Tritz, and I'll be talking about the terrestrial biomes, and this is part one of that. This is for the web quest for terrestrial biomes. So first, I would like to go through uh, some definitions that you'll probably need to know in order to understand this uh, section better. So I will be moving down lower here. The first definition, which you should follow along on your terrestrial biomes worksheet. Uh, you can pause this video at any time to write down the definitions for these terms, and I'll be discussing them. So first, there is terrestrial biome. This is any land biome on Earth. So this can range from the Arctic biomes to the desert or and rainforest biomes. There are uh, numerous other biomes other than these, but these are a few examples. Next, we have precipitation. So this is any form of water that falls to the Earth's surface from clouds. So such as rain, sleet, and snow. Uh, next, we have climate, which is the average weather condition in any area over a long period of time. So weather is the short period of time, so that's over like a week or so. Uh, but climate is over many, many, many years. And then they take the average weather in this area and uh, can find which climate it fit, falls under. Next we have soil type. The three main soil types are clay, silt, and sand. Uh, you may find one of these or a couple of these depending on where you are, so in which biome you are in. Elevation. This is the height of the surface landforms above sea level. So you go up in elevation uh, when you climb up a mountain or up a hill, and you go down closer to sea level as you reach the surface, so if you're going down from the mountain. Or it, if you're in uh, Death Valley, you can actually be below sea level. So then we have seasons, so this is also due to the angle of sunlight. Seasons occur due to the Earth's tilt, which causes the angle at which the sun's rays hit the Earth to be more direct, when they're more direct it's summer, or less direct which is winter, and this is, depends on where the Earth is located on its orbit. Alright, so then we have competition. So competition is when two or more individuals or populations try to use the same resource, such as food, water, shelter, space, or sunlight. So these animals will compete against each other for these resources. Then we have predatory and prey relationship. There are many interactions, or they are many interactions between species that consist of one organism eating another. So the organism that is eaten is called the prey, and the organism that eats the prey is called the predator. Remember, you can uh, pause this video at any time. You can go back and review these uh, definitions or terms if you need to. Next on your, your worksheet, you will see that there are discussion points. So this is part two of the terrestrial biomes web quest. The first discussion point is what are the two terrestrial biomes that you are interested in investigating further? For each, explain why you selected it. So below you can see A and B. You will uh, list which biomes, so the top two biomes that uh, it was in your introduction to, for the terrestrial biomes, you will list here. Number two, where will you go to access the resources provided to you by your teacher to complete the scavenger hunt activity? I will answer for this for you in the next slide. Three, using your understanding of the key terms for this activity. Note you will be using the terms from all three videos that you have watched already. You will create a concept map below. So on your worksheet, you will create a, a concept map. Alright, so now we're on the scavenger hunt activity portion of uh, the presentation here. So if you will go to the terrestrial biome scavenger hunt activity. This is your title slide. This is worth 40 points as it shows here. So your first biome is 20 and your second is also 20. Each blank highlighted area is worth one point, so make sure that you fill them all in. Alright, so your first slide that you will see is your answer to number two for your discussion points question. This is the resource page that your teacher will want you to use. It will look slightly different, 
Uh, your sources will be linked and there will be QR codes next to them. There's also the textbook page numbers here. So for example, if you pick desert, you will simply go to the desert portion of this slide and use those resources. All right, so now we'll go on to the next slide, which you'll see. It says part one. This is the first biome that you have selected. Make sure that you list that here. Your next slide will show part two, so who lives here. Here you will identify two producers that can be found in your biome. You will also identify one decomposer which you can find in your biome. Then you will list the four different types of consumers. And over here you will identify, the th uh, you will identify three consumers that can be found in your biome. Alright, so the next slide will be part three. So where in the world is this biome located? So you will have to list two key abiotic factors for your biome. Now we talked about this previously. Here's some options here. So pre uh, precipitation, climate, uh, soil type, elevation, and seasons. You will also identify two specific geographic locations. So either, if, for example, if you pick the desert again, you will list a specific desert and which country that you can find that desert in or what area in the world. All right. Next slide will look like this, which says part four. So how does energy flow through your biome? So here you will create or fill in a simple food chain below. So we'll start at the bottom where you will, you will find a producer uh, in your biome. Then the next one up will be a primary consumer, so a, a herbivore or omnivore. And then the next one you'll be a secondary consumer, so a car carnivore, something that will eat this animal here over on this side. So in the space provided below uh, a link or, or provide a link or an image of a food web of, for your biome. So it's required that you need three consumers and two producers and then you will create this using a Google Doc or something else that will make some sort of uh, food web and you will link the image over here. You can also draw it out and take a picture and then link your image here. What critical part is missing from both the food web and the food chain? So make sure you'll answer that down here. So the last slide that we have will look like this, which is just a repeat. So this is going to be your second biome that you've selected. All the rest, the remaining um, slides will look exactly like I showed you. Just follow those steps. If you need to go back and review them, you can uh, rewind this video and watch that.